Hello everyone. Uh, in this video I'm just going to go ahead and cover something that just stopped uh, working on me. And um, I'm going to go ahead and also uh, show you um, how to fix it. So one of the things I have here is I'm going to switch to a layouts, saved layouts perspective UV editor and it um, for whatever reason uh, it just stopped working and I guess I can do this one because this one's this one's already fully unwrapped I'll just do this one um, one thing I wanted to show you is uh, how to fix this I'm gonna run a really fast way also um, and see um, if it works first of all um, this will be the first time I'm trying to fix it. And then the other thing is I'm going to show you another way to um, unwrap this entire object really quickly. Well, as quickly as uh, I can show you. So I'm going to start first by camera based. And I'm also going to go to this one. Okay. Apparently, um, hopefully I'm not the, uh, I don't think I'm the only person this has happened to, but I don't know if this uh, fix that I'm going to try to do is going to work. Um, unwrapping it shouldn't be a problem, but I just want to go ahead and double check that I didn't grab any of these faces. Okay, so I think the easiest way to do this will be to uh, run a camera base from here. Um, typically, it'd probably be best to be in the top viewport but I'm just gonna go camera base from here and I selected every face except those two um, caps okay I'm just gonna move these out of the way I'm also going to um, assign a new material Lambert and then I'm also going to go ahead and go to let me edit delete all my type history really quickly oh because I need to be in object mode Lambert 1 that's fine for this um, I'm going to do the checker as I showed you in a previous video and I'm going to now press 6 on my keyboard and select the object one more time and there we go. I'm also going to turn on my blue uh, to see the faces correctly and one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make, try and make sure I grab the right edge. I'm going to just double click this edge and then deselect this one and then I'm also going to deselect this one. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a uh, cut sew and I'm going to cut. Now, I didn't affect the caps at all on this and I just ran a um, uh, camera based UV unwrap on the entire mesh except for the caps and then I cut it into the seam across the entire bottom. Now, before I push on, I would like to show you the problem I was having. I'm going to do my Move UV Shell tool. I'm going to select here, and then I'm going to go Tools. If it works now, I'm going to be really surprised. Okay, so it says Unfold 3D Context Tool ca Cannot Find. Um, I'm going to see if I can fix this uh, error. Um, and from what I understand, it should be in here. Regardless, if this doesn't work, I still am going to, going to show you um, how this is uh, going to unwrap much easier. So I'm going to go to my settings preferences and I'm going to go to my plugin manager. Okay, in my plugin manager, I'm looking for something called 
Unfold 3D. Load it. I'm going to unload it and then I'm going to try hit, go ahead and refresh that. And then I'm going to try and see if it'll work this time. It was just something I saw that um, seemed like it might be a good fix. And it just says un not found. Okay, well, for whatever reason, I don't know what happened. Uh, my unfold tool stopped working and my optimize tool uh, also stopped working. However, if I go to my tools and my show UV toolkit, it was just worth a shot to see. Um, I'm going to go to unfold and I'm going to click unfold. Now you'll notice in just a matter of a few seconds, really, um, without me going into this plugin manager here, I've unwrapped this entire object here. Um, s super easy. And then um, really quickly also, and that's my trick of the day uh, for this. Now, um, tools. I'm going to keep looking for a fix to that. Um, I've recently upgraded or updated uh, Maya 2018 to Maya 2018.2. Uh, from this point, it was it it was told it uh, it had told me that it was uh, released a month ago, and I hadn't updated. Um, for whatever reason, this was working fine, uh, as I mentioned in my previous video just the other night, and I shut down and uh, reopened it up, turned on my PC the next day, and I don't know what happened. Um, thank God, Maya includes multiple ways to work around this. Uh, another fix probably is to uninstall the entire software and reinstall it. Um, I just don't have time to do that at the moment, um, especially because I can... And the strangest thing, it can't find it here either. Um, okay, oh, tools. Optimize tool. The tools don't seem to work, but the optimize and unfold do seem to work. So, um, regardless, that's a much faster way to do it anyway. Um, this would be for more of a specific custom type of unfold you're working on. Um, regardless, the next thing we would do is move this into place. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring this up. And rotate. And then uh, rotate just a little bit more this way and move back into place and then take these tools, move UV shell tool, this one, this one and here I'm going to go ahead and bring these smaller using my scale and I'm not going to have it at 10, I'm going to make it like uh, 0.98 and then I'm going to just hit this button here and this is like making it 98% of the size it previously was or 0.98 um, and then I'll just throw these in here I'm not too concerned about this, I really just wanted to show you this and see if I could get that plugin manager to work um, another trick to do is you can um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't um, you can always go into so if you go into your C drive and then you go to your users and then you go to user and then you go to I believe it's my documents and then you find Maya and you go to your different versions of Maya you will find that in here you can actually delete this entire folder close out of Maya reboot it and it automatically creates all of these uh, it'll create all these back to default I tried to do that once I don't know it didn't work uh, to at least to fix that unfold uh, issue I was having um, but it will fix pretty much anything else. A lot of uh, a really common 
one, uh, especially with your preferences uh, and your shelves, for instance, um, if you ever have a find a missing shelf or something like that, uh, you go in here, you delete your preferences folder, your prefs folder, right? You would delete this, or the better way to do it is to do old, and then you would exit out, reopen, and it's going to create a brand new folder, uh, and then if the pre uh, the new prefs folder that it automatically creates is um, no n n not what you expected at least you can delete the old or the new one and then rename this one back to its original name I hope that made sense to you I didn't want to go through closing out of the software rebooting it um, it would just take a lot of time but that's a way to do it and you can also just delete if if you wanted to I would recommend renaming this something like backup that's fine and then close out of Maya and then reopen Maya and it's gonna create all of the new folders for you and it's gonna create an entire new 2018 folder um, which could potentially fix any issues you were having I tried that also and it didn't work um, so I'm gonna search for new ways to fix that and then um, I do have a video uh, I think I'll post it um, showing how the unfold tool works um, but in the meantime I'm going to search for a new way to fix this issue and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we're going to continue working on this lab uh, in our in my next video and we're going to uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, texture well without having seams, uh, at least visible seams such as this where you see the, the hard edge from the uh, the rectangles here in, or the checkers. Anyway, um, that's unwrapping, uh, that's my unwrapping trick um, and it works really well uh, and it's really quick and I find it to be a super effective way to uh, unwrap objects. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little trick I showed you, and um, thanks for watching.